adults only. Um, as you can see, it's got the infinity pool right in the middle. So nice to see we've got a bath, so Olivia can have a nice bath, shower, double his and her sinks here. It's really very beautiful. Very still this morning. There's a lot of nice. It's just lovely. I'm lost. I just don't know where I'm going. to show you our room so from the beginning basically uh, we're on the sixth floor so you walk in and you use the card for your electric this is the bathroom here you can see it's just so nice um, you've got a hairdryer there you've got all your shower gels and bits that you need there so you don't need to bring those soaps towels the shower looks really good as well it's like a bit like a wet room really and um, you've also got a bathroom for toilet obviously with a phone next to it so you know if you really want to go full on out there and start calling reception i imagine then you can there's olivia sorry she's just uh, here so you've also got lots of cupboard space as well oh a nice little light comes on there um a safe um in there and then we've got a family room so there's four of us so they actually before i actually started video and george actually started <laughs> trashing the room a tiny bit so they actually left out sweets for george and some coloring pencils and a little coloring book which is really cute so that's george's bed here that's the sofa and they actually left a lovely um package there of the beach towels and some flip-flops too, which always come in handy, don't they? And a magazine on the table. We've got a TV here. Also, there's a really cool feature by the door. So when you're leaving, um, you can see here, blue means neutral about the room. Green, you can make it green and that means, oh, red means do not disturb. We don't want basically any room service. So if you're having a day in bed, um, which you won't have really probably if you have children unless you're very lucky um, that means don't disturb green means please do the room and blue means not really bothered you can do if you want so we just put ours on green before we leave for breakfast and then they can come and do the room and then if we come back we'll put it on uh, blue again and then we'll put it on green as we go out again all our stuff is just here cot for Olivia and they've actually left some lovely little bits in. Look, little gifts for Olivia. I think they're little um, shampoos and body lotion for Olivia, which is super cute. A swimming nappy, a bib, and there's a dressing gown there with some slippers. So cute. And then um, this is mine and Danny's room. So again, we've got a TV here. Um, we have a bedside cabinet with slippers thank god because i forgot mine a uh, telephone there water and let's just have a look at the other side so we've got a tv here again slippers the other side and nice mirror it's a really good size i don't think it does it justice you can see the balcony here which i'm going to go out to in a minute there's the TV against the wall. I'd say it was probably a 42 inch, maybe more. Um, two dressing gowns. And our bathroom will be in here. So nice to see we've got a bath, so Olivia can have a nice bath, 
shower, double his and her sinks here. Again, we've got all the stuff that we need. So these get refilled each day. And you've got like your conditioners. So there's no need to bring anything. I did bring my shampoo only because I like a certain one. Um, well, it's got like a shower cap there, dental kit, comb, shoe mitt, tissues, you know, sponge, shaving kit. I mean, you literally don't need anything. Makeup remover. I mean, I have brought my makeup removers with me anyway. Um, but there's just so much. Hair dryer. Stuff for your shavers. The bathroom, the light's just inside, so you've got a bidet and um, a toilet here. And it just looks absolutely gorgeous. So you've got a little sitting area. We have brought our laptop, so we may well, Danny may well get up and do a bit of work early on. One minute, Olivia. And then in this cupboard here, um, well, if you have a look, it's perfect because you've got a little bin in there, you've got a fridge, um, you can see so you can stock up a few bits, some fruit in there already actually, how cute is that? Um, a coffee machine, some coffees, kettle, sink and a microwave here. So that's really good, especially when you're feeding a baby and you've got to look after a little one. And then I'm just going to very quickly show you the balcony. So the balcony is here, so you've got a lovely little seating area, um, seating for the day. Also, this is our view, so we're on the sixth floor. This is the pool, as you can see, it's absolutely huge, huge. So I'm really looking forward to showing you a tour around the rest of the hotel this week. So they do all smoothies, all of this food here. This is like the smoothie bar. And then we've got like the yogurt area here. Juices. No. That's all the fruit area. Cereal, which are here. Carver for breakfast. And then all the different meats here. A lot of nice veg too. Got all the bacon, the sausages, all like a cooked breakfast as well. Wait, now we've we got no more details. No, this is um, this here is a it's like a massive ipad on the wall full of the activities gives you information about what's on um so what you can actually do is you can book it in the gym the gym is 24 hours a day you can actually book in the gym so danny is just booking a slot in the gym for today 
had a really good experience at GF Victoria today because you know how I brought the pouches that were to go in the microwave for the bottle feeding? Well, you could only fit like two in every time. And then I burnt myself really bad on one of the pouches. They're great, but anyway, I just thought I'd ask the hotel if they've got a steriliser. Well, they did. And one girl I was speaking to, she spoke to them before and pre-ordered the steriliser to a room. So if you're staying at um, GF Victoria and you've got a baby, email them. And I'll pop the email on the uh, description of this video, email them directly and ask them to put a steriliser in your bedroom. So I've just managed to sterilise all the bottles in one go without getting burnt. Win-win. So this is the shopping mall that's just opposite the hotel. So it's a really, really nice shopping mall, literally across the road from our beautiful hotel. about the Joey light tracks is my six-year-old can actually sit on the front board even though it's not made to do that but it's been great for this holiday because he doesn't like to walk So uh, we are staying on the sixth floor and the sixth floor is actually where the Japanese gardens are as well, just so nice. So this is the walk from our room, you can sit and have a nice little drink in here, picnic, I'll just show you, it's beautiful stuff around here it's just so nice i've had to get up early this morning because it's getting quite busy around the hotel um and i want to show you everything but also obviously i need to be mindful of people's privacy so um they do classes up here apparently on this stage and this is the view that we've got from up here so this is, the hotel is just huge. Um, so these are the Japanese gardens. I don't know how I'm going to get off this. Oh, there we go. Um, so as you can see, this is also our hotel. So it bends round really. Um, some beautiful plants. We just love all the uh, the plant choices. We're getting our garden done at the moment, and we actually have come up here for a bit of inspiration. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. As you can see, these are on the top. In fact, I'm going to show you when we go around. Um, what I thought were solar panels were on top of the. How do we get round? This way. I thought there were solar panels on top of the roof. I need to get there first so I can show you what I mean. Yeah, you see these through this fence? I thought looking at them they were actually solar panels, um, but they're actually water heaters um, up there. And I do know they collect the water. Um, there's a really good guy on. on um, YouTube who's like the master of Tenerife called the Night Rider and he did a great review on this hotel as well um, so have a look at that after this video um, he explains a little bit more you'll find that not every lift goes to your floor um, different lifts go to different places because it's so big so um, what we found is we found that 
some of the lifts don't go it goes to the floor but then you have to walk quite far to get to the other side sometimes it's easy just walking to the other side and getting the lift where you want to go um one lift in particular doesn't go up to our floor which is the sixth floor so we have to go and find one that does so there's always few lifts anyway that's the view over there while i'm waiting for the lift it's just lovely really nice hotel I'm going to try and see if I can show you the rooftop oh, I don't know if it'll be open yet each lift is glass from floor to ceiling which really adds that extra special look so I'm going to try see if I can show you the rooftop bar I don't know if I'm getting out of the right place there's the courts over there there's also you can hire these out. No. This is the rooftop bar up here. Don't know if I'll be able to get in here so early. In fact, it looks like it's closed. I might have to come back here and show you this later. Um, but this is on the fifth floor. Adults only. Um, as you can see, it's got the infinity pool right in the middle. There. And it's just beautiful up there. You can have a lunch up there. But as I said, it is adults only. So we'll go back down. Very clean hotel, so you'll notice a lot of bins everywhere. But nice bins, you can tell the bins. And then also a lot of hand gel as well. Obviously very COVID friendly. So you can just always be putting hand gel on. Very clean. And we've got beautiful plants like this throughout the hotel. So this is the fifth floor that I'm on at the moment. So... I think we're on floor two. I'm going to go for floor two. I think floor two is where the pool is. So these are all the courts, as I said, that you can go on. Right, okay, let's go back beside this bit here. I'll show you the courts so you can hire these out if you want to. This is the reception actually. Let me show you how nice it is from up here. So it's just so beautiful. So that's the reception down there. Gorgeous. It's very quiet this morning. It's quite early. Too early for me when I've had been having red wines last night. But there is a few different pool pools currently on floor two. Um, and this is for two pools, so bear with me, you can see the cleaners, very, very clean. Um, so this over here is the, I think it's a bit of an adult area. Um, and then this is another pool that we've got here. Now, all the pools are heated. When I say heated, they're not warm. They're like, um, they're not warm, warm. They're almost like... Um, they just take the edge off and being absolutely freezing. So that is the pool that I've shown you from our room. And then this is the one that's over here as well. I'm going to show you the kids pool in a second. Oh, and also there's these everywhere. Well, not everywhere, but you can find these activity balls. So they tell you exactly what's on each day. Um, you can view all, you can go and view mini club, baby club, fitness, the wave pool, the simulator room, the teenager room, music and shows, and adults. So there's a lot of things happening every day, which is really cool. Um, I want to show you actually, so the Zumba this morning, don't catch me doing that with this hangover, but... Um, so, you have to make a reservation for this surf pool. I'm going to show you this in a minute. Um, I think it's about eight euros and you get about seven minutes. And then the baby pool, as you can see, the baby club. You can put your baby in the baby club if you want to. Uh, if you want to have a little bit of nap time with your partner on the rooftop bench. It's quite hard to press this, by the way. Ah, there. So the location of this is on floor zero, 11 o'clock. doesn't give you much information, but the baby club is available from, I think, 
think it's 12 months but I, I'll have to come back to you on that um, but there's a lot to do I don't know if you leave your baby in here or not or whether you go with them um, into this room but there's two times two slots one morning one afternoon and then there's a show on each night as well um, for the kids which I absolutely love and it's followed by an adult show as well so I'm going to carry on um, but you get the gist of this thing it's really really cool you can actually book into the gym via this as well which is quite cool and um, the gym obviously is free um, free of charge I'm going to find the other pool now honestly I'm like the worst person to showing you around a hotel because I have no sense of direction at all also I do want to add sorry for the state of me this morning but I do want to add around the pool they've got great bar service so you can actually have look to make sure I don't look like an idiot for someone say and um, you can actually order where am I going now I feel like there's a floor one there's a pool let's go there yeah you can actually add um, the the waiters and waitresses around the pool are so attentive and so good you can literally order drinks put them on your room quite dangerous um, you can also order food as well and we found we were tempted to go half board because we're bed and breakfast at the moment which I think is the minimum you can be um, but we were tempted to upgrade to half board which was £88 a day I think it's um, cheaper when you book online um, but it was £88 a day and we've not spent that for lunch so it definitely wouldn't have been worth it for us and drinks aren't included on that either and I know I've got glitter all over my face so this is the other pool that I showed you. The thing is, I never know where I'm going to come out here. Um, but this is the other pool that I showed you. So it's got loads of nice beds. It's really very beautiful. Very still this morning. There's a lot of nice... It's just lovely. And there's always more than enough sunbeds. And then the bathroom is in here. Uh, the pool bathroom, which they're all the same. And they're all very, very clean really take pride in cleanliness here. I don't know if you can see how clean this is, but I'd probably eat my breakfast in here, to be honest. So, as you can see, it's very quiet out here this morning, but this is where the entertainment is at night. Look how much pride they take in the morning. It's literally cleaning each glass panel. Um, it's just so tidy, so nice. So this here is the entertainment area, so you come out here at night, that pop-up thing turns into a little bit of a bar. Um, again, you can put the drinks on your room, slightly dangerous, but just, although I keep saying to Danny, right, let's pay that bar thing off so we know exactly what we've spent, but anyway, so that's the stage up there, and we haven't paid it off yet, yet, so we're nearly going home, so we'll see the damage tomorrow, but we've got exactly what we wanted while we've been here, which is good, say so that's good. We'll see. In the day, you can actually go in eat in. That's the eating area and the breakfast area down there where it comes out a little bit. And then you can actually go down here and have a drink if you want, which is really nice. I'm really wanting to show you this pool where the slides are before any children get to it. But I'm honestly, I'm lost. I just don't know where I'm going. It's that big, this hotel. Doesn't a girl with no direction and a hotel this size is quite anyway as you can see the walls in the hotel are just it's like they've just thought of every corner they've got books here so if you like a bit of a book library if you want to people leave the holiday books and you can help yourself there right let go down i'm going to show you the shops then i'm going to show you the other books so down there is the um is the you've got like seating areas here and then you've got, I need to get down by the lift. I can't do it. Okay. Yeah, so there's a lot of seating areas where you can just have a drink. And it's so nice. And then through this window, that's where you have breakfast in the morning. So there's not many one in there yet. I have actually got extra really this morning. But there's just beautiful design in this hotel. 
So I'm going to go down this lift now. I'm going to show you the other bits. Excuse me, what floor is the pool with the slides on? The fifth. Oh, honestly, I get lost everywhere. Right, thank you so much. There's a bar over there, piano. People come and play. It's just so beautiful, this hotel. I don't think this video will actually do it justice, to be honest with you. So, little shops with little cute souvenirs in here. They're open. They're the times. That one's open there, 9.30 till 1.30. And then a snack shop. We went on a boat yesterday and got some snacks. Thank goodness, because we didn't come back to sleep. Um, and then there's a cute little shop for kids inflatables and stuff. They do say not to use them, they won't be using inflatables. Not to use inflatables in the pool, but seems they sell them. And um, the lady who actually sold ours, and um, also, this is the baby changing, also blew up for us. Oh, it's not the baby changing, that's a lie. The, the toilets are so nice, I'm going to have to show you. I've been in a few times. Light, it's just so clean, really is so clean. I'll show you the toilet too. It's really, I mean it makes a big difference for me. Oh and there's a baby changing thing on the side. It's just so nice. So that there's the shop for children. So if you're thinking of bringing inflatables or anything like that, probably wait till this lady comes. It's not a ridiculous price. Either. And she blows them up for you. So there's loads of stuff in there. Loads of little souvenirs too. So you haven't brought the children. Take them a treat home. There's a model of the hotel here. This is the hotel. So if you want to kind of find your bearings, probably what I should have looked at before I started this review. You can actually see there, that's the children's area. There. And round this side is the chair's pool. So it's just things called the whole model shows the hotel, it looks amazing. It's just so so much detail has gone in. You see the infinity pool hanging off the top of the rooftop bar. I can't remember what floor they said for the bloody thing. Fourth. Did you say fourth? Oh, for God's sake. Anyway, that is the pool you can see from our room is this one. And then that's the bit of an adult area. Looks like they do have shows here, so don't be alarmed if you arrive on a Saturday and there's people dressed up to the nines at um, that show because that's what happens. Uh, they do have shows here regularly, which I think is for locals and things like that. So when we arrived, I was literally looked like I'd been dragged for a hedge um, and I walked in, there's all these people in beautiful ball gowns and I thought, oh my god, I'm going to have to go shopping, but I didn't have to. I was just walking past the breakfast area there, there. just going to try and find this pool while I can. Um, this here, on my way to the lift, is the baby club. Now it's not open at the moment because it's so early, but as you can see on the door, it tells you must be accessed through reservation through our app. They've got an app that you can download. And then it's got different times. It's really cute. I want to see if I can see in the window. I don't think we'll be able to. Um, but we have like a mini disco. That's outside where I showed you before. And then you can't really see inside that much. It's got some cute little stuff. They're really good kids here. So I'm going up to floor four. Now, I can't remember what she said, whether this was a floor that had it or not. Excuse me, what floor is the pool with the slides on? The fifth. Oh, honestly, I get lost everywhere. I write, thank you so much. We'll soon to find out. Mm. Now, where's the swimming pool with the slides? The slides? Yeah. Is that this floor? Uh, 
That one. Yeah. I'll go. Thank you. So we think it's this way. Let's hope it's this way. It's getting late now. It's 8.43 a.m. So you know what children are like, they want the breakfast and get back at that pool. So I'm going to show you what I can over that side. To be honest, I've never done this steps this morning, this early in the morning before. Also, there's a really cool thing I showed you about the room, which I'll show you now. So if you don't want to be disturbed, you can change the colour of that blue. So when you want to see, they don't want to be disturbed. They've got a red one. Hope I'm going towards the right place. It sounds swimming there. There's a um, golf over there that you can do. We did say we'd do it, but we, we haven't. Um, but yeah, there's golf over there. Now this sounds very swim, swimming poolly. I need to have a look. I think it could be. Could it? No, that's a dead end. Seriously. How many years do I get to this thing? Lost. Actually lost. Is it this way? No, these are stairs. How do I get to the bloody... Oh, Sorry. Right, so that was full. Full. Apparently it's actually full five. Did you say that? I bet she did. Excuse me, what floor is the pool with the slides on? The fifth. Honestly, my listening skills are just awful. Let's try again. So... <laughs> This is it. This is it. I'm on the right place. Thank God. Anyway, so here, the courts I showed you before. Also got the climbing area for children. George hasn't actually been on this yet, um, but there's so much for kids to do. So we've spent some of the time at the pool up here and some at the pool down downstairs. But that is that. And so you just need to book this if you want to go on it. Um, it has been closed a couple of times, I've noticed this, but then it's reopened again. So I don't know whether they have set times that they actually do it. There's a little swing there. So there's plenty for children to do. There's a great little bar here with some lovely stuff on. Um, this is the surf area the surf zone so you can go surfing now we haven't done that george isn't confident confident but we did say we would like to see his daddy on there so hopefully we'll be able to see his dad on there now this is the actual pool for children um so there's um a couple of slides there that you have to be 120 meter for i actually went down one of them uh, so did Danny and it is, I think it was that tube on there and it is quite scary so they're quite strict with that because George is 110 metres Danny thought they'd be able to go down with him but they wouldn't let us which is understandable, they just care about their safety so that's all, so this is the kids pool here great there's no one around so some slides here, these are for the children that are 120 metres very clean as I said they are heated but um, it's not but it seems to be all the people working to make sure it's all clean I bet they'll come to get out in so we've got this point um, there's the slides there sorry is that all right <laughs> just showing sorry I won't get you Okay, these are the other bits of the slides. George loves it because that bucket actually pulls down. Um, and then it's just so cool. And there's always loads of sunbeds as well. And then there's a shop just behind the hotel. That's the one that Danny's been going to. Um, when we've been doing our odd shop runs. Uh, they do give you enough water in the room. I think you get three complimentary litres a day. Please don't quote me on that because I've not actually checked my bill yet. But that's what I've been told. Um, and uh, we do keep getting waters anyway. Um, so that is the children's area. You don't have to go in the lift anywhere, everywhere. Of course there is stairs. 
but because we have a pram with us, we've not been using the stairs. And to be honest with you, I'm not a stair person. I would probably always use the lift, but there are stairs. Just in case you're thinking, how on earth am I going to get up and down on them lifts all day? Not as hard for Danny as it is for me, literally. I think I'm just... I don't know whether there's a thing where you get lost easily, but I get lost easily most of the time. So I'm probably probably not the best person to do this review. So I'm going to go back to my room now. Yeah, I'm definitely at the wrong part. It's this way. Now I just want to confirm as well, the hotel has not paid me for this review. Um, I just wanted to do it because I know exactly what we were like. When taking a baby and children abroad, you want to check that the hotel has everything that you actually want. This hotel has been great. I would say um, there was one incident where we booked the boat um, and unfortunately the um, the lady behind the desk got it wrong. She would get paella, paella for lunch. Um, so we paid it and we didn't get back till 3 p.m. Um, and it, we hadn't eaten really, there was a few snacks, but, so we mentioned it to guest relations, they were really good, they gave us our deposit back, or we had a choice to eat, um, in the restaurant for lunch, so we did that, which was really nice. Well, I haven't eaten in there yet, and that's tomorrow, but, oh God, I'm walking past our room again, Jesus Christ, it's like I can only do one thing at once, honestly, so... That was really good. And um, the other thing, this is one thing. Oh, I would just say check your bills around the pool. Probably this is why I probably should have paid the bill at the beginning, at the end of each day. Just because a couple of times there'd been the odd drink on there that we hadn't ordered. I do genuinely think this is just a mistake, but just want to remind you to check your bills. Uh, the reception, they can't do enough for you. They are so good. Literally anything you want, they'll bring to your room. So I'm back. So it's our last day and we are just going by the pool. Um, the great thing about this hotel is you're meant to check out by about 12. I think it's 11 or 12. But we rang them and said that our flight was quite late. Uh, it was later on in the day. So they gave us till 2pm. And then they now have given us a courtesy room. So it means that we can have a full day at the pool and go to a normal room and get ready and hopefully sterilise Olivia's bottles before we go as well, which is really cool. And you've got an online one. Be careful in here because there's no online and the weather is bad. It's we not bad. The weather isn't bad. The weather's good. Yeah, the weather's good, but it's bad for like playing online. It's bad for playing online. <laughs> This is the downstairs bar. So this is the main pool where we've been going. It's like we are a we like He's playing his switch yeah. over here. And he's waiting for something to die. And Olivia is here. So there is aqua yoga, or an aqua exercise class going on at the moment. I'm too busy consuming calories to burn them. So we've ordered chicken nuggets and chips for lunch. There's more than enough. How much did that come to? 10 euros. Olivia! Oh, she's off to sleep. Tired girl. <laughs> 